All right, YouTube. So a little bit, little snip bit. So how to fight the feeling of missing your family over the road, especially drivers like me. My son's too little. Uh, can't come in the truck yet or anything. And reason I'm doing this video. See if I can get more light. So I'm just gonna stand here and talk to y'all. That seems to be a little bit better. So, the reason of this video is my wife had to take her cat, I guess to get stitches out, they had to declaw him. Uh, and little guy brings a cat out to my wife and I guess he favored me a lot in the face. And my son thought it was me. So it's sad, you know, I'm sure that poor little guy thought, well, God damn, this kid don't even know his own daddy. And, I, and that's hard, especially with, um, sorry, I'm trying to make sure. Um, I'm about to pause this video, go help this driver back up. So my truck don't get hit. And I'll be right back. All right, YouTube, sorry about that. I had to help a driver back up. That's one thing that, you don't see a lot of anymore. I ain't been driving long, but just hearing a old older driver, you don't see much people helping anymore. That's one thing. Every driver, one one goal y'all should set in the new year: help other drivers out, man. If you see them struggling, backing up, help them out. Don't let them tear some shit up. And especially, don't sit there and try and get an insurance claim. Let them tear your shit up. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. The video is about. How to fight the, it, it, it's depressing, you know, when your kid asks when you're coming home or where's dad, where's mom, all that stuff, you're a woman on the road. And my wife made me little card pictures and my dumb ass left them at home, but she made me a calendar also with a bunch of pictures of my son on it. And I leave that right by my bed when I wake up in the morning. I'll show you all that right quick. But, so that's one thing that helps me, got some mustache hair, is waking up to a picture at least. If I, if I can't wake up to his face in the morning, my wife's face in the morning, wake up to a picture. And it helps remind me why I do this. Why I sacrifice that family time and being away from home for so long and I get home a lot more than I did when I was over the road the first time. It's my second time back out over the road. And um, I did local for a little bit. Money just wasn't wasn't there for me. Um, so I keep trying to <laughs> make sure trucks don't need help. But uh, that's one thing to do, man, is, is get you a picture set up. That's a perfect lighting. That's where I need to mount my phone. Right there. I just talk to y'all just like this. But my arm's getting tired of holding y'all. I'm gonna put y'all back down right there. So the hardest part is not being able to wake up with my family. So in a sense, I, I wake up to them every morning. That's where that calendar sits every night. And every morning I put it nice on my bed. I make my bed as y'all can see behind me. Well, maybe not. As y'all can see behind me, I have my bed made. And bed every, try and make my bed every morning. Get you in a nice little headspace for the day. Declutter your, your wake up space. Get you in a good routine. And uh, oh, I disappeared on y'all. I'm a little tall. I hit my head almost every time I get in bed. It's me just sitting down. Yeah, so that's that's one thing, man. And my pocket watch that my wife got me, so I get to look at her face throughout the day. I mean, I have my phone and stuff, but when I'm walking around, that's in my pocket. So I get to see my wife's beautiful face, see my son's beautiful face when I wake up. Whenever I go back through home, um, which honestly probably won't be until my son's born, right? 
the second child until he's born. Um, probably be when I go home next. Just not too long, just a couple more weeks. Be there for the birth of my son. And I'll get those little pictures and I'll, you know, I'll tape them to my visor. I'll put them up on my dash. Find little places to where I always get to see my family. Technology has made it a, a lot easier to where you can FaceTime, video chat, and all that, but that only goes so far. Like I said in the previous video, I couldn't do it. <laughs> like these old timers that, that, that just had to use a payphone, hear the kid's voice, couldn't see their face for, you know, however long you decide to stay out. So that, being able to FaceTime does make it a lot easier. And it doesn't make it any easier on my wife. I mean, I guess it does. She says it makes her feel closer to me watching videos that I post and stuff. It's another reason why I try and keep putting these videos out there. But it's tough. Sitting in a truck stop. All by your lonesome. Yeah, you can go in, sit down in, in the driver's lounge. Sometimes there's drivers in there. Sometimes they'll talk to you. A lot of times you'll go into one of the restaurants in the truck stop. You'll see all of the older drivers are the ones that go in there, really. And they all sit by themselves, you don't, unless they're with another driver they've known for a while over the road. You don't see them introduce themselves to other people. You know, I'd like to make more more friends over the road, more truck driver friends over the road. Any questions I have, I'd like to be able to call people. You know, I got I got three three people I could call. Any question about trucking, damn near they could answer. Um, one of them for sure is the guy that my first student, my that motherfucker taught me more than I even knew on the road yet. He's been driving for for years. They it just made, Stevens made him go back through the process because he had that gap of being off the road. So I'd call him, call my buddy Tim, buddy David. You know, I'd call those three people right there and, and ask about stuff on the road and, and get some good answers, some honest feedback, some honest answers. But it's hard when when you miss your family. But right now, I do. I do indeed. I told my wife to treat herself out to a nice, nice meal. Get order something nice. She got some glass in her heel and stuff. She deserves it. Man, if this, I don't know how to help a box truck back up. Sorry for you, buddy. That should be pretty fucking simple. Well, nah, because you don't have the turn radius, but there is enough room for a box truck to just whoop. No 73 foot around here, though. 53. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video. I'm gonna lay down, game out a little bit. If any of y'all are on Xbox, Xbox One, uh, South Game Testers, my gamer tag, capital S, capital G, T, G, capital T. South game tester, uh, all one word thrown together. That's my gamer tag going and add me. And uh, yeah, y'all take it easy. So there's the little calendar my wife made me. So little pictures of my son. It's me and my son fishing. Damn right, that's the Saints emblem. Yep, that's what she made me.